Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 24th of November, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saints Andrew Dunglack and companions. Vietnam, dear brethren, is a place which is close to India after Bangladesh towards that side is Laos, Vietnam and the places like that. The faith in Vietnam was brought forth by the Portuguese and then later the Spanish and the French also followed. So the Portuguese Jesuits were the, basically the one who brought faith into Vietnam. But getting faith into Vietnam was not an easy task. About 10,000 to 30,000 people were martyred in Vietnam for their faith. And today, Holy Mother the Church celebrates one such batch of martyrs for Christ, Saint Andrew Dung Lak and companions. Around 17 people, lay people, 17. Then there were priests who were about a good number. All of them were martyred between 1820 to 1862. About 116 others along with Andrew Dunglack were martyred for the sake of the message of Christ. Members of these groups were beatified in certain different batches and were all canonized together by Pope John Paul II on 18th of June 1988. If we know, dear brethren, baptism is of three kinds. Basically, there is only one baptism. One is the baptism that we receive. The other is the baptism of desire. That is a person who has desire to be baptized, who is getting ready to be baptized and if he dies, then he has already received the baptism of desire. And there is another baptism called the baptism of blood. That is those people who not only uh, have accepted Christ, have desired for Christ, but they have given their life for Christ without having received the water baptism which they would have loved to receive but due to some circumstances they were not able to they are baptized these martyrs were baptized in the blood of Christ these martyrs have washed themselves clean by the blood that they shed for Christ we cannot shed our blood today we are not called uh, to that extent because by God's grace we have a government that still supports us. But if tomorrow persecution comes up and our faith is at stake, are we ready to die for our faith? If we are ready to live for our faith, we will surely be ready to die for our faith. Amen.